Hey guys, Dabu7. I want to put this video out, kind of connected to the last video I put out uh, concerning the month of May. Um, in key dates, significant dates you're going to find within the month of May that, you know, may hold some significance and events that take place this month. Now with that said, May 10th, there is an annual solar eclipse, May 10th into the 11th, and we have... A penumbral lunar eclipse, May 25th. Now, the last video I put out was concerning May 8th, and they had to do with the alignment that is taking place that Nostradamus talks about in his quatrains about the great earthquake in the month of May. Now, May 22nd was the date of the great Chilean earthquake at 9.5, but on that day, that alignment did not exist. Uh, that's why I put that video out. That alignment that I found falls May 8th, 2013, precisely. Whether anything happens, I don't know. But if a great earthquake does happen on the 8th, I could say that Nostradamus's quatrain ring true on that day. Well, with that said, the 10th and the 11th being the annual solar eclipse with these occultists, uh, anything can happen the 10th and the 11th. But I'm going to focus toward the end of the month here, the 22nd to the 25th, those three days, the time, time, and half of times out of your Bible. Uh, where you get the three and a half years, the 42 months, the 1260 days. Well, that's a time, time, and half a times, and I believe that that, that, holds, that holds true in a lot of things when dealing with numbers in the Bible and significant dates. Now, with that said, I had somebody sent me some work. I'm not going to pass along his name because he never got back to me and told me if, if he wanted me to share his name, but he did some more work from the Super Bowl. For those of you that don't know, I put out a video on my old account, Dabu7, that had covered the Super Bowl and the blackout and how there was a bunch of occult stuff going on at the halftime show. It was aligned with the Constellation Tours right above. There was all kinds of bull imagery that was put into this. It was all occult. Then we had the lights go out. Plus, we caught a UFO above the Superdome right before the lights went out on, on the city cam. Uh, put that out there for everyone to see. As crazy as it was, it was real, it was true, it was there. And what I got out of it is when I added up the score in the third quarter in the 13-22, I ended up getting a 6-6-6. And that right there was the signature of the Illuminati to me, right in front of your face and staring right at me, was the 3-2-2. So I said this has to have something to do with March 22nd. Well, 47 days from Super Bowl 47 is or was March 22nd. That was another, well, there you go, you know, right in your face to March 22nd. I did, however, skip the 108-yard factor of the tying kickoff return. Now, this guy took it a little bit further. I'm not saying that everything he, here is, has, everything he has here is accurate, but I went off October 9th, um, 2009, which was the day that Obama won his Peace Prize, and uh, in the 1260 did bring you to March 22nd. I mean, he's got received down here in one on in two different dates. It got kind of confusing. But what I did is I just took the 108 yards since I skipped it last time and I plugged it in to see where I got. Well, 108 days after the Super Bowl, February 3rd, brings you to May 22nd. And some of you may say, well, what's the significance of May 22nd? Well, let me show you probably one of the most significant days in the history of mankind from multiple religions Moses the man who went up and met God on top of Mount Sinai and received the Torah uh, he is acknowledged by uh, Judaism by your Muslims by your Christians um, and all these different religions uh, Moses finds his way in there, in the story. Now, with that said, we all know who Moses is. Well, Moses was cleansed for six days by a cloud, and then he was ushered into the presence of God on the 13th of Sivan. On this day, the 13th of Sivan, man and Moses met God on top of the mountain to get the law of the land in 1313 BCE. So, if you go from this date to this date, take a wild guess how much time's passed. 3,333 
three years exactly. Now, when I ran the numbers and I came up with April 15th, we took 33,033,033 minutes from the beginning of the Korean War, and we ended up April 15th, which was a huge day for Korea anyway. We didn't know that the Boston bombing event was going to take place that day, but we did end up on that day, April 15th, and it was a significant day, as well as we ended up on March 22nd. Well, here we are ending up at May 22nd here, being a significant day in history, as we are 3,333 years exactly away from the moment that Moses got the Torah from God on top of Mount Sinai. Okay, so I thought that that was very interesting. 108 days, we end up here, and this is a key event, if not one of the, the keyest events in history right here, pertaining to man and God and the law of the land and tying into multiple religions. So this is off the Jewish calendar, as you can see, the 13th Psalm 5773. Now, with that said, March or May 25th of this year holds a lot of key dates, as well as the penumbral lunar eclipse. There is the March Against Monsanto happening all across the globe on this day. So I decided to go looking for drills. And sure enough, I found terrorism drills. This one's L.A., May 25th, taking place. Texas, ending the pinnacle of the, the whole event, May 25th. There's events taking place all across the country in the month of May. There's also one taking place in Cincinnati. Uh, there's one taking place in Chicago. So... On the 25th, you're going to have drills taking place, and you're going to have huge events, marches against Monsanto in every city across this country, across the world. It's going to be a big movement taking place on the 25th. A lot of stuff going on. You have drills going down. This is just a day to keep your eyes on, folks. Plus, to top it all off, when I go in and I, and I do the numbers... This is another smack in the face. Going from the Super Bowl to the 25th, well, guess what? 111 days, we had three months in 22 days. There's the 3-2-2 again showing up. Just thought it was interesting. I don't make this stuff up. It's what it is. So there you guys go. Um, I'll connect this to the other video that I put out. These are just some key dates, alignments, uh, events drills, stuff going on throughout the month of May that you might want to keep your eye on and uh, how it relates to history and where we're at now. I'll leave some links so you guys can check on this, but like I said, the 22nd through the 25th, those three days, um, I'll hold key this month in May for events to take place. So, till next time, guys, Dabu7 with some underground world news.